we tried it. We're gonna try it. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was bad. We almost. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Fortune Island on the mountain road here in the BMW M4 drift car. And we are going to be doing something today, if you haven't guessed by the title. We're going to try to drift the mountain one-handed. Now that involves basically shifting and everything all one-handed. Now I'm going to try and use my left hand, and then we'll try and use the right hand. But we're going to do this all one-handed. If I need to pull a handbrake or anything, we're still going to be using both our feet, but one hand at at all on the wheel at a time. No, I can't switch hands either. It's just going to be one hand, either left or right. So we're just going to probably start this car in fourth gear. And uh, we're just going to go full send with the left hand. I'm going to leave my other hand basically on my lap. If we can get this car rolling in fourth. There we go. Fourth gear start, probably not good for the car. So this is going to involve a lot of clutch kicks. Oh, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Oh my. I don't know how. Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought. 900 degrees of rotation. Fan attack. One hand on snowy mountain roads. This is a challenge. No, understeer. Come on. No, don't lose it. This is actually really tricky. I gotta see if we can't, there we go. See if we can't just try and be smooth. Kinda let the car do its own thing. There we go. So down a little bit. Now we're getting it. Clutch cake. There we go. Back into it. Oh my. This is not easy. Use the left foot brake to kind of modulate our speed. There we go. Oh, too soon. Oh, too soon, Junior. If the problem is, I really need my handbrake to try and transition quicker, but we're not doing too bad right now one-handed. Kind of just letting the wheel do its own thing. All right, we did a lot better than I thought on our first time down. Problem is I need the handbrake to continue that. Or a big clutch kick. So downhill left-handed. We're going to try and go up the hill left-handed. And then we're going to switch it to right hand and see how that goes. My right hand is sweaty and I wasn't even using it. Get this car into, into fourth gear. Hard flick in. Kind of using left foot brake. Don't go too soon. See, the problem is I'm such a high gear clutch kicking or high RPM clutch kicking doesn't really help that much. Got to use the weight of the car. Kind of anticipate timing. There we go. That's much better. We got this. Oh, we got it. Much better uphill right now. I think I'm getting the flow. Oh, no, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. We haven't really spun out yet, though. So, in my defense, I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought. <laughs> Whew. Try this yourself. If you're on a G920, it may be a little bit harder because the wheel doesn't rotate as fast, but it might be easier because it's a smaller rim if you're on a stock wheel. Bigger rim is uh, definitely hard to manage, but we're managing to definitely get this right. No handbrake, just left foot braking, clutch, and one hand on the wheel. Trying to drift these snowy tailgate roads. Yeah, we're 
almost at 200,000 though, going uphill. Good thing this car can just stay in fourth gear, otherwise this will be a lot harder. Snowplow. Oh, my finger just cracked on the spoke. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. That hurt. I went to go grab the handbrake. I didn't do it. We did not grab it. We successfully went up left-handed, 238. Kind of hurt my left hand. So now we're going to try this right-handed. So this one we're going to be able to probably change gears because it's a lot easier because it's next to my body. So right-handed, one hand only. Toge Road. I said one handle. Alright, there we go. Don't hit the snowplow. Oh, I think I was better with my left hand. I was way better with my left hand. Alright. Gain composure. There we go. I'll let the car do its thing. I didn't think I was going to make that. <laughs> so I was much better with my left hand. And I think that's because when I'm normally drifting and uh, using my handbrake, my left hand is the main hand that's on my rim. So I'm used to kind of being one-handed with my left hand for momentary seconds of timing. Those are really hard to get without a handbrake. Oh, we tried it. We're going to try it. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was bad. We almost, we're almost able to handbrake entry though. Oh my god. I don't think I can get to the handbrake quick enough. Or back onto the wheel quick enough. There we go. One handed. Go back. Oh, I was already a full lock. Ah. All right, so we might be able to use our handbrake with our right hand. So we're definitely going to try and utilize the handbrake a little bit more. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I didn't snap back nowhere near fast enough. 360 for style. So we're going to go uphill. But we are going to try and actually use our handbrake because it seems that we can use the handbrake with our right hand the way the car is set up. And we can use it to do a quick flick. With it being right here, might be able to use it as a quick flick. So we're going to go back uphill with uh, our right hand and the handbrake and see how we can do. I got to turn first. We're going to clutch kick that in first. Nope, nope, nope. Too much angle. It's getting a little, uh, trying to get a little saucy. Let's smooth it out. Be very smooth. There we go. Modulating the throttle. Quick pull that e-brake and back on the wheel. That was a bit too much of a pull. I know I put my other hand on the wheel. I failed, but we're actually not drifting, so we're going to get back going. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Give this a chance for yourself. This is actually quite challenging. Oh, I should have grabbed e-brake there. But we are managing to drift one-handed a lot better than Ashley thought we were going to do. Oh, I stalled the car. I forgot to hit clutch. There we go. I think I was way better with my left hand. I don't know what the wheel was doing. Tried to save, tried to continue. I'm trying to use the top of my hand too to spin the wheel a little bit more. Trying to just keep as much contact on the wheel as I can. This is actually very interesting and kind of a fun little challenge. 
if you guys like this and you want to see more challenges like this, drop some uh, challenges down in the comment section down below. One-handed. I know somebody wanted to see the duct tape death match from uh, Initial D taping my hands to the wheel. That might could be very dangerous. But as always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. So now that we did that with one hand, let's uh, let's rip it down the hill with two hands to end this episode off. I appreciate you guys coming back and all the support. And I appreciate all the comments and everything you guys send. If you guys are not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you guys tap that subscribe button, bell notifications if you want to be one of the first to get the videos when they come out. I would appreciate it. It helps me in the YouTube anal analytical analysis or whatever system to get my videos out to other people who are not watching me yet. And I'm sure other people would enjoy these videos as well. There we go. See, so much easier with two hands. But it was definitely fun doing it one-handed. Like I said, if you guys want to see some other weird challenges here on the channel, whether it be in Forza Motorsports 7, Horizon, or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. Maybe, you know, some other wheel challenges. Sheep. Just going to finish this downhill off to end this episode off. A little bit of Forza Horizon 4 for you guys. Going to have videos coming out with wheel setups and stuff like that. Wheel setting changes and everything for Forza Motorsports 7 and Horizon here very shortly. Good people have been asking about that, so definitely going to be going back and doing some uh, kind of settings videos for you guys. Stalled the car. So as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.